Hey guys, welcome back to the channel as always. Now the video you're watching today is going to be a walkthrough of my entire Lego inventory. Now I do look at my inventory every single year to decide which sets I want to sell in the upcoming season. But for this year I've decided to film the whole thing just because I've set up a YouTube channel. So I thought some of you guys might enjoy it. Now, before you do watch the video, I just want to make you aware or remind you that my own Lego investing strategy is quite aggressive. I very much um, part of I like the compounding strategy that selling your Lego sets a bit sooner than the value they could appreciate too. But basically, to get that profit faster and to reinvest that profit into more, more and more sets, and basically snowball the amount of sets you have. We're obviously siphoning off a bit of profit for yourself as well. So that being said, some of the winners from the 2021 retirees, like the Strange Things, like the TIE Fighter helmet, like the Iron Man helmet, I own them, I've sold them, I've got the profit from them, and I've reinvested that profit into some of the sets you're going to see in this video. Now, um, I anticipate this video will be quite a long one, so I'm going to film it over two parts, and I, I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so looking at the next theme, it is Harry Potter. Now, this is one of the themes I've invested a, a bit more in this year than what I normally do, but I've got quite a range of sets. So let's jump into the first one. And it's the Brickheads, the Nagini, uh, Voldemort and Bellatrix, set number 40496. This one has a retail of 21.99 in the UK. Decided to pick up two. I, I did have a couple more which I actually already sold when these in, initially went to sold out this year because they did go up to about 30, 35. So I just netted a quick profit on those to reinvest into other things. Next up, we've got set number 76393, the buildable Harry and Hermione. I've only got one of these and I got them for 91.99 recently from Lego's own sale, literally about a couple of weeks ago now. You know, these are definitely under hoarded. They're a Smiths exclusive in the UK. And it's from what I can recall, it's one of the first kind of buildable characters they've done out of bricks. Now, as I said, at the moment, I don't think these are held in too much high regard. But you never know, hopefully Lego produce more buildable characters from the Harry Potter universe and it will make these more collectible. If they go back down to a sale of about $91.99, I may consider picking up some more. But anyway, on to the next set. Now we've got set number 75967. These are the, for the Forbidden Forest Umbridges Encounter. These had a recommended retail of $24.99 in the UK. Now, I got these, I think, for about 12 to around £13, basically. I got them last year. Amazon did a crazy day and had real hefty discounts in the UK prior to Black Friday, which was actually quite disappointing. The last time I did check how these were going on eBay, they weren't actually doing too well. Um, I don't know how they're doing now, but they weren't. They think they were selling for about £16 when I checked a few months back, which is surprising. It does come with five minifigures, and I did think the Centaur and Grop were pretty cool, but, you know, can't win them all. But hopefully it, interest picks up this year. Next, we've got the Hogwarts Clock Tower, set number 75948. This one, I believe, now has a recommended retail of 84 99 a lot of the prices have changed, but I think that was the, I think that is the RRP. I paid, I think, fifty nine ninety nine for this one, but I can't actually recall where I got it from. I think it might have been Argos. I've only got one of these. I think this set is pretty cool, but Lego have released so many beige, magical Harry Potter buildings now. None of them really stand out from one another, so I don't think there's any specific cause to really buy one over the other and therefore I don't think they will jump up in value but time will tell that's just my opinion okay so moving on we now have my flock of foxes I've got quite a few here as you can see now I really like this set I have done a, a video on forks specifically um, and I do hold it in high regard it's uh, it's uh, one of three magical creatures currently available. You can get the Horntail and Hedwig. Hedwig came up first and is staying on longer. Horntail came up this year. Forks came out last summer, I believe. And hopefully LEGO continually produce more magical creatures from the Harry Potter universe and make these uh, Harry Potter creatures really collectible because I think they're awesome and you see a nice displayable plaque there. So I've got high hopes for the Forks. 
Okay, so up next, we've now got the first flying lesson, set number 76395. These ones have a recommended retail of 24.99 in the UK. I've got these four directly from Lego, alongside the usual gift with purchase, VIP points, cashback. Now, this one is a retail exclusive in the UK to smaller toy shops like Jadlam and, to and Toy Master. That's probably the only reason I got it, because I don't think this set is too particularly that great it's just the exclusivity really uh, enticed me but so i've only got four of those up next we've got the polyjuice potion this one is set number seven six three eight six now this one had a recommended retail in the uk or has a recommended retail 17.99 i got five of these now this one is retiring this year which is strange. I think it was initially retiring at the end of this year, but then it got a bit pushed back. So I already had these five by the time it was uh, it was too late. It had already been pushed back. So I decided not to buy any more. But I may buy some more next year when it does indeed retire. Okay, so we've now got the Harry Potter books. I've just got one of each of all the five that are retiring this year. I mean, I would have bought some more of these books or in, you know, bigger quantities if there were some rumours that there were going to be more magical Harry Potter books coming out next year to basically increase their collectability. Unfortunately, there hasn't. So it's really kind of diminished my interest in the books because I really wanted something like the Herbology Spike which was caused by the release of these books to happen again, but it doesn't look like it is going to. Um, but nevertheless, I've got one of each. Now, up next, we've got the Hogwarts Fluffy Encounter. Now, only one of those. It was reduced to £22 on, I think, on Amazon. Uh, I got one because I thought the Fluffy the dog's pretty cool, and I like dogs, so that was the only reason I got that. And and lastly, you can see I've got quite a few Harry Potter chess sets back there. And this one is an exclusive to John Lewis in the UK. And I have high hopes for this one. I just think it's pretty cool. It obviously appeals to Harry Potter fans and chess fans alike. It's also a retail exclusive and has a relatively short shelf life. And obviously it comes with one of the golden minifigures. I can't remember the exact one. It looks like Professor Snape. So... Fingers crossed that one does well as well. Um, oh, actually, before I do sign this particular section off, I do have some burrows somewhere as well, but I, I couldn't find them, unfortunately, when I was filming this particular section. Okay, actually, before I do move on, I have just found the one of the burrows I have, and I also found about another half a dozen, unfortunately, of these Forbidden Forest sets. And I also forgot I own these Hogsmeads as well. Obviously, these Hogsmeads aren't retiring this year, but I think it's a great set. Obviously, again, part of the uh, 20th anniversary. This one comes with Ron Weasley. Now, I got these for about a third off. I think they're about £43 when they had the original RRP of £69.99. And I've also found a couple of these as well. The Room of Requirement. Uh, um, I'm not sure when that one retired, but it was a 17.99 set. Okay, so now the next theme, and we're looking at Lego Ideas. And you can see I've got just quite a small range, only consisting of four different sets here. The first one being the Lego Friends set, Central Perk, set number 21319. Now, I do like Friends set, but it's a very overhauled set in my opinion. I mean, all of these Friends sets here are actually, I actually bought myself probably over a year and a half ago, and I've stopped buying them just because of its really, really long shelf life. I feel like every, every Friends grand has one of these stashed away in an attic or basement. It's... It is really an overhauled set, but it is an evergreen set. Friends, I can't see the TV series um, popularity dropping, so it might take time for, for its supplies to be exhausted. But at the end of the day, these should come good, but it just depends how, how long that that time will take for that period to come good now these are, have a retail of 69.99 i think now they used to be 64.99 um 
as I said, I got these about a year and a half ago at Amazon France for about 43, if I remember. It was roughly 43. Okay, so next let's have a look at the Ideas Dinosaur one. Now, I think this is one we get three dinosaurs, set number 21320. As you can see here, I've got quite a few of these as well. Now, these retired last year. They had a retail of $54.99 and they were exclusive to John Lewis in the UK. Now, I got these ones here from John Lewis, um, not from Lego directly, and it was in one of their... 20% off sales and I used a gift card so roughly these cost me about £42 each. I mean I've held on to these for the current moment in time because they're not doing too well. They're going for about 65 Hopefully this Christmas they'll get to 70 Okay. Now moving on we've got this International Space Station set number 21321. I've only got two of these. These originally had a recommended retail of $64.99. They that dropped to $59.99. And you could have recently got these in Argos in the UK, I think just a couple months back for about £40. Now I've decided against getting any more of these just because I the set in my opinion, while it's very detailed, it's just it's just not that impressive. I just don't think I, who wants it. That's only my opinion, but I just don't think it has that wow factor that sometimes you need in your sets. But as I said, that is just my opinion. I do have two regardless of that. And the last idea set I own, which I'm, I think it's, you see the ideas and icons. Obviously, it started off its life as an idea set, but then it got reproduced. It's Saturn V rocket. Now, I've only got one on show here, but I have bought a couple more this week utilising the free witch and the double points and the Adidas shoe. Now, this one, obviously, as I said, it was a re-release. The original one came out and then it retired for like about six months and now Lego whacked it out again. So it has had a long shelf life, but it's just damn cool. So... For 10499 I think the actual build's about a metre in length. I think it's epic, so fingers crossed uh, the interest in that one will remain and continue into the future. Okay, so moving on, and we're looking obviously at Jurassic World. Now, I have quite a few Jurassic World sets, so I'm going to do two different table shots for this one. As you can see, the first set here is the... Uh, basically Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park T-Rex Rampage set number 75936 and it basically comes with the original Jurassic Park characters. Now I do have a good quantity of these, uh, 19 in total. Now Unfortunately, this set hasn't hit the the hit basically hit the target I wanted for it, or just yet. I mean, these retailed I think at two hundred nineteen ninety nine. I've got these obviously all from Argos in the UK. They were reduced to different points in their lifespan. I think one was like twenty five percent off. Another was about thirty three percent off. But with gift cards etc., I paid on average about one hundred and fifty for each of these. Now. In the UK at the moment, I know I think they're doing better in the US, but in the UK they're 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 reaching about two forty now. Hopefully they can get to two fifty and above at Christmas. I reckon for these my selling point would be I don't know, two fifty and upwards. I'd be happy to take that after fees to get near enough a hundred pound profit on each one. Uh, it is a shame I was hoping these were going to do really, really well because we had the Jurassic World Dominion film, which actually merged the original Jurassic Park actors with the Jurassic World actors. But the film obviously bombed and it just didn't get that popular, um, unfortunately. But hopefully in the future it will it will get a bit more popular. OK, so now let's look at the rest of the Jurassic World stuff. As you see here, I've got quite a, a bigger selection than other themes here. The first set we'll talk about is the Indominus Rex vs. Ankylosaurus, set number 75941. Now, as you can see, I've, I've still got quite a few of these. I think that's one, two, three, about ten left. Now, 
These have a recommended retail in the UK of 89.99. They were regularly discounted on Amazon EU for quite a few months and they they were discounted to about 60 to 70 pounds every time they were discounted. So I bought these at a range of that price point. These have done quite well. As I said, I actually have sold quite a few of these already. You know, buying them for that 60, 70 pound price point, they're already selling. Uh, there's been some going up to about 130, 140 on eBay. But these were all re- already sold some of these last Christmas for 120. So the Indominus Rex was good. And, you know, as soon as I saw the set, I was excited because I invested back in the original Indominus Rex set as well. The Indominus Rex Breakout that came out with the first Jurassic World theme. Sorry, the, the first Jurassic World film. And that one did really good for me as well. So I was very pleased with the Indominus Rex. So we'll start off on a good point. This next set is not so good. It's the 75935, the, I think you pronounce it, Baronex Face-Off, the Treasure Hunt. Now, as you can see, I've got a good quantity of these. I'm not sure the exact amount, about 10 to 15. Now, this one had a recommended retail in the UK of 59.99. It was regularly, well, I, I bought them for not too much of a good discount, for about 45 to 50 the majority of these uh, now unfortunately for, m- for myself these haven't appreciated that well at all in fact they're actually last time i checked selling under their recommended retail price i mean they're selling for about 55 to 60 so you know not too not too great if i sold them for their going rate at the moment that might make a fiver on each one but you don't win them all and that's it just unfortunately hasn't hasn't lit up the market let's see Let's move on to the next Jurassic World set. Now, this is an interesting one. Like, sometimes I talk about buying the set, or sometimes you buy the discount. Now, for this particular set, I definitely bought the discount. Now, this is the set 76941, the Carnotaurus Dinosaur Chase. Now, as you see, I have quite a few of these. And I actually bought these last December, and I bought them from WH Smiths because... They retail at 45, but WH Smiths had a 25% off their toys and games. And then I luckily have a family member who works for WH Smiths, which basically gives you an additional 25% off. So I was getting these at near 50% off and I paid about £25 for them. And at that price, I was very, I was happy to pay 25 because I thought, you know, if, uh, it was quite a bit of a steal and the dino molds can appreciate in value so you know I, I, this set wouldn't have been on my radar if i couldn't get such a good discount but for that set i'll say i bought the discount and hopefully it does all right once it retires similar story with this one here set number 76940 the t-rex dinosaur fossil exhibition again i bought these last year now these have a recommended retail nowadays of 24.99 but they used to be 27.99 and I bought them again at W8 Smiths last year. They're 25% off uh, with the coupon plus their own sale. So I got these for about £14, £15. Back then when they had a retail of 28 obviously it was a much better deal than what they're priced at now because obviously the discount's less because the recommended retail price has dropped. But overall, I still think it's a good set and I'm happy with the price I paid. And moving on to the almost last set, we have... This one right here, 75942, the Velociraptor biplane rescue mission, I think that says. This one has a retail of 24.99 in the UK. And I think this one retired, I think, also last year. Now, retail 24.99. I majority I paid for these were about 16.66. They had them reduced on I think they were they were third off at Sainsbury's. And then Amazon price matched as well. So I got a few that way. I also got a few a, a few via Amazon France, one of those five off 25 euro coupons. But all all in all, the average was about 16 66 Again, I don't think these are doing too well, but I did sell some last Christmas uh, in a kind of dinosaur Lego bundle for about 25. Um sorry, I sold I basically I sold this one plus the fossils plus this next one for like a bundle price and they actually sold okay so i'm hoping i can do a similar sort of thing this year but um the next set let's take a look it's set number 75939 it's dr Wu's lab 
Now, this one is one of the 1799 Jurassic World sets. Now, I've got quite a few of these left. I did sell a few again last year, as I said. Um, nothing too exciting. I got these for about 12 to 13 pounds each on average. Again, Amazon EU regularly with discounting these. So I thought I'd snap them up for that price. I thought it was pretty good. Um, and I, last year I sold them for about 20 to 22. If I can get that again this year, or maybe hopefully near that 25 pound point, a 25 pound price point, I'd be happy to, uh, you know, get rid of them all. And lastly, I have the set number 75940, the Galaminus. Uh, I think that's how I'm probably butchering that, but hey ho, and I'm not even going to attempt the next dinosaur. But basically, this one. I'm not really a fan of this set. It's so I only have one. It's it was fifty four ninety nine retail, and essentially I I think I I got given this as a gift. I I definitely don't like this this set. There was there's nothing unique about it for me for it to appreciate in value. I, I mean I'm saying that I don't know what the set's worth as time is filming because I'm literally just organising all my stock today, but um, I don't think that's really gone up at all. But there you go, that's the Jurassic World section. Okay, so let's move on to Batman. Now, as you see, I've got a range of different Batman sets here. We've got, firstly, we've got the 76239, the Batmobile Tumblr Scarecrow uh, scare uh, Showdown. Now, this one in the UK has a recommended retail of $34.99, already sold out on the UK Lego Shop at Home's website. I managed to pick up a modest amount of those. I think that's seven there. Um, I think I got those on Argos when they were reduced, I think, to £26 as, uh, earlier on in the year, I think a couple months ago. L unfortunately, missed out on the Amazon deal. But obviously, it's quite iconic from the Dark Knight trilogy of movies, and I had good expectations for this one. Now moving on, I only actually have one of the Batman cow helmets. Now, this one has eluded me several times. It recently it went to a third off again in the UK at Argos for thirty six sixty six. Amazon price matched, and unfortunately I missed the price match. And Argos had a crazy limit of only one, so it wasn't really worth my time picking up any more of these. Now I will try and get some more of these near the end or the last few months of the year, but only for the right price. The classic Batman cow, on the other hand, this one has retail fifty four ninety nine. Now I did, oh, I have three of these at the moment at time of filming, and I did pick up a few more recently when they were reduced with the forty. They were reduced to forty three ninety nine and like double VIP points and some nice gift with purchase as well. So I have got a few more of those still to come. Um, jury's out whether that will be popular or not. Uh, you know, it's a classic cow. Not, I can't imagine it being that popular with um, younger people, a certain age group, where that will have a particular nostalgia for. So let's just see if they're willing to spend the money on that one. And that kind of was also the same for this classic Batmobile. Now this one is a retail of twenty nine ninety nine in the UK. Again, I've got a modest amount of these. I've got four. Now these were long throughout the year, exclusive to Lego Shop at Home only, but then in the last few months they have become available at the Entertainer as well. Now, I can't really recall, oh, no, no, I can recall, I think Entertainer had a promo code, I think if you spent £40 you could get 10 off, so I, I got four of these based on that offer, so I, I think I got these for... That would be twenty, yeah, twenty five pounds a piece, which you know it, it's all right, not amazing, but that's the price you've got to pay if you want to get some sets. Okay, so moving on, let's have a look at my brickhead selection. Now, I don't really invest a lot in brickheads, with the small exception of the Spice Girls brickhead this year. I recently did a video on why I think it could do quite well. Basically being that it's the first range of brickheads that are based on non-fictional characters. They're based on real people. So I just think that makes them unique. And I feel like LEGO could definitely go in a direction of releasing more musical brickheads, more bands in the future. So this is the first one. So I thought I'd take a punt on the Spice Girls. And I exceeded, well, I reached my limit of all five. 
Moving on, we've just got a couple of Buzz Light Years and one Ahsoka here. Now, I only have a few, well, you know, almost single figures of these Brickheads. Basically, I bought these to get over Lego thresholds to get promotions, nothing more. I mean, I do really like the Ahsoka Brickheads, uh, um, but I just think Lego would be absolutely crazy to retire this one this year. I mean, I know it is on the retirement list, uh, um, but it's, it, I think that would have given it, what, like a 12-month shelf life. And obviously, Ahsoka's getting her live-action debut next year. And obviously, it's an anniversary Brickhead, 151 produced. So I just think Lego would be absolutely mad to retire this. And I, and I just have a, a sneaky suspicion it might get extended and have a similar shelf life to the Mandalorian and Grogu. So for, for that reason, I've just considered Ahsoka more of a risk. And so that's why I've only got one. The Buzz Lightyear's... Nothing too special regarding Buzz Lightyear. Obviously, again, not the longest shelf life. Lightyear movie came out this year. Wasn't too successful. So, uh, But it is on the retirement list. So, again, I only really bought them to go over the thresholds. And lastly, we've just got a few here now. We've got, I think that's the Brickhead Bride, the Brickhead Cockatiel, and the Brickhead Groom. And now these were all voucher codes, uh, promotions in the UK. So, obviously... They were all freebies. Okay, so up next we're on Creator 3 in 1. And as you can see, I've only got one set here. And that is set number 3, Trevor 1-9. Now this is the 3 in 1 Ferris wheel. These have recommended retail in the UK of £79.99. and pence. I managed to get these for just under £54. Which I'm reasonably happy with. But... I think overall it's it's a good build, and I think the the set you're getting for that price is 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 okay. The the sets moving forward, obviously, the recommended retail prices are just crazy these days, and I just feel this set provides good value. So I've bought a few of these, but not too many. Okay, so moving forward again, we're now looking at the Disney theme, and I only have one set, and I only have one quantity of that set, and as you can see, it's set number 71040, the Disney Castle. Now, this one has a recommended retail price in the UK of £299.99. pence. It's meant to be retiring this year, but it wouldn't surprise me if Lego did another one instantly, because it is, I believe, the 100th anniversary of Walt Disney next year. And I actually bought this one, I think, two, three years ago in uh, in the Lego store in Bristol. I remember there it was the anniversary, 40th anniversary train. I got that as a promotion with it. So whenever that train was the promotion, that's when I bought it. But I always wanted to get one just, uh, I could, just because I think it's great and... These iconic sets, you just don't want to miss out on. So some of them I do just buy one, and that's more of Afar win me more than the investor. But just one Disney castle. Okay, so moving on, we're now looking at Creator Expert. And as you can see, again, I only have two different sets here. The first one being Queer Eye, the Fab Five Loft, set number ten, uh, set number ten two nine one. This one has a recommended retail in the UK of eighty nine ninety nine, and it's quite well known. It's reduced on Lego.com with a reduction of forty percent off, taking it down to fifty three pounds and ninety nine pence. So I took a chance on three of these. I don't think Queer Eye is overly that popular in the UK. But when you're stacking the gift with purchases, the cashback, the VIP points, you know, you're really getting these uh, for a, a relatively cheap sum. I mean, it really does come down a lot more. And uh, this one is, as I said, a bit more risky, but I feel you get a lot of value for the price paid. And there's definitely Queer Eye. Uh, it's being renewed. The series, is, there's more episodes coming out. So, you know, it, it could have a spike in interest. So I thought I'd, I'd take a chance on that. And the other set is just the bonsai tree. Now, this isn't retiring this year, but I, I recently got it. I think I actually say that about a year ago. Uh, it was part of a John Lewis offer. It was reduced to 33 75 if I recall. And again, I needed a set to get over a particular price threshold. And because the bonsai tree was already discounted, I thought that was a good choice. <laughs> 